nuestro presidente está embelesado en una forma sexual tipo freudiana con uh, el, el, el señor Fidel Castro. Si no hay un embelezo... Y dirigentes de Acción Democrática introdujeron ante el Tribunal Supremo de Justicia una declaratoria de insanía mental del presidente de la República, Teniente Coronel Hugo Chávez Frías. Va llegando el momento en que todos hablemos de la transición, sin Chávez, por supuesto. Hasta el próximo jueves. In the past, Venezuelan governments had imposed heavy censorship on the media. But under Chávez, there was now total freedom of expression. Despite this, Chávez faced an almost daily battle with the private media, which attracts the lion's share of the TV audience. There are five private TV channels controlled by some of the most powerful economic interests in the country. In this media battle, Chávez used the only platform available to him, the state-owned TV, Channel 8. Desde Washington, el secretario de Estado norteamericano, Colin Powell, expresó su preocupación por ciertas acciones del presidente de Venezuela. We have been concerned with some of the actions of uh, Venezuelan President Chávez and his understanding of what a democratic system is all about. For the United States, Venezuela had always been a reliable and affordable source of oil. Chávez, by deciding to exercise greater control over the state oil company and to push up oil prices, had set himself on a collision course with Washington. Chavez is consorting with narco-terrorists in Colombia. A small minority of Venezuelans have benefited in the past from the country's vast oil wealth. In Venezuela, the oil belongs to the state, but for decades the state oil company had been run like a private corporation by the traditional ruling class. Chavez has promised to redistribute the oil revenue to the remaining 80% who lived in poverty required breaking their control over the state oil company. Porque el gobierno revolucionario lo que está es distribuyendo la riqueza entre todos para que todos vivamos mejor, porque la riqueza de Venezuela es de todos, no de una minoría. In February 2002, Chávez announced his plan to shake up the state oil company and to put his own people on the management board. The war had begun. ¿Usted cree que el presidente de la República está loco? El chavismo se apoya crecientemente en la violencia a medida que va perdiendo poder de convocatoria y popularidad. Se parecen a las fuerzas de choque que empleaban Mussolini y Hitler. The privately owned media began calling on Venezuelans to demonstrate, suggesting that Chavez's attempts to control the oil industry were a direct attack on their prosperity. He, 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 wants, he, he wants us to become a Cuba. He wants this to become a communist. No, there is no doubt about it. At the head of the opposition to Chavez were two key figures. Pedro Carmona, president of Venezuela's largest business federation, and Carlos Ortega, head of CTV, a trade union with strong ties to the old political system. Both men traveled to Washington to meet with high-ranking members of the Bush administration and to discuss President Chávez. Por segundo día consecutivo, altos funcionarios del gobierno de Washington expresaron su preocupación por la situación política en el país. El director de la CIA, George Tenet, confesó estar especialmente preocupado por nuestro país. Obviamente Venezuela es importante porque es el tercer mayor largest supplier de petróleo. Um, I would say that Mr. Chávez, and the State Department may say this, probably doesn't have the interest of the United States at heart. I'm sure that all of us are going to be watching very closely to see what goes on in Venezuela and with President Chavez in particular. All of a sudden, the CIA's concerns were shared by a group of high-ranking Venezuelan army generals. On April 10th, one of them appeared across all private TV channels with a message for the president. Bueno, las declaraciones del general Néstor González González vienen a reconfirmar que Hugo Chávez es agente al servicio de Fidel Castro y de la guerrilla colombiana. That same day, Carmona called an opposition march to the headquarters of the state oil company. What the marchers didn't know was that they were to be part of a bigger plan.